etched, but the ice cream barn in Swansea defines your farm-to-table experience. There's a lot of things you can use that are grown locally to make really awesome ice cream, and it happens to be our favorite. Favorite food. Favorite food, yeah. <laughs> In 2012, high school sweethearts Jocelyn and Thomas Cider turned a farmer's market frozen treat push cart into a partnership with Baker Farm and its cows, adding to the local dairy. Is this mint? It smells. This is fresh mint, yep. Farm fresh add-ins. How important is it for you guys to use these in your ice cream? It makes the best flavor ice cream. We're using stuff that's just grown right here. Whether it be what goes into the ice cream or what comes out of the scoops, colossal serving sizes and art worthy sundaes, the recipe here has earned them the best ice cream in two states, Massachusetts and bordering Rhode Island. We have our formulas down. It took us years to get them down. We know when we add a certain amount of strawberries to it, how we have to offset the amount of water in there with the amount of milk we're putting in. The only thing this couple loves more than the science behind their creations, adding extra blueberries to every scoop to get that right ratio of cream to fruit. My all-time favorite is Cranberry Jubilee. So it's cranberries with sliced almonds and chocolate chunk. And really good. Is enjoying it little ice crystals in it, there's fat, there's air. The fact that it exists the way it does is mind-blowing, so I'm very grateful for it. <laughs> the Ice Cream Barn has launched an online store selling pints and quarts seven days a week with contact-free pickup, but they haven't resumed full regular service yet, noting that it can be difficult to implement social distancing at their location. The good news is all of the ice cream shops we are featuring tonight are open in one way or another. Some have adjusted their hours, so a good idea to check before you go. Now comes the donut cone.